So when they procreated, here's what a lot of us didn't know because we think, well, if Allah Almighty brought all of us from one being, we can understand that he created Eve from Adam. Now, as we know in our mentality that the procreation means that these are brothers and sisters, here's what happened. Cain and Abel were the first sons. Each son had a twin sister. Each set. Cain had a twin sister. Abel had a twin sister. You could not marry your twin sister, but you could marry your brother's twin sister. And Cain's twin sister was beautiful. And he wanted to marry his twin sister, not his brother's twin sister. His twin sister was for his brother. And that's when it all started. From a woman. Is it still not happening? You don't think we're from there? It's the same story. His father Adam told him she was not for you. Allah Almighty's law was that you could not marry your twin. You have to marry the twin of your brother. It was all twins. That's what he was given twins, and that's how it started. Lot does what he likes, as he will. That was the law. That was lawful. Law can make anything lawful. Law can make anything unlawful. So we in our own little narrow moral minds, ooh. But look how we get here. We had to go to the Who knows how to get here? Y'all didn't know about the birds and the bees? Ooh. Why couldn't everybody just clap your hand and everybody jump up in here? Or stock drop us down the chimney. No, it had to, ooh. So when Adam ordered his son Cain to marry the twin of his brother, he refused and he wanted it to be settled. So he went to his father and complained. And his father said, Adam salam says, Okay, you make a sacrifice. And whoever Allah Almighty accepts their sacrifice, this is the one who's in clear obedience to Allah Almighty. And the one that Allah Almighty does not accept their sacrifice, they are in clear disobedience to Allah. And Abel's sacrifice was accepted and Cain's sacrifice was not accepted. So now Cain is angry with his brother. He goes to his brother and he says, I'm going to kill you. I'm coming back on you. Have you heard that before? Nothing's changed. Same reality. First they started out over woman. Now the whole jealousy thing, the anger thing, he killed his brother. He was carrying his brother around. Cain was carrying his brother on his shoulders. Didn't know what to do. Didn't even know how to bury him. Didn't even know anything about him. But he had, Satan had possessed him. And he had killed his brother. Why? Because Satan is the avowed enemy of human beings. Avowed enemy. He doesn't respect any kind of sacredness. He'll go up in a mosque, he'll go up in a church, he'll go up in a synagogue, he'll go up in the house, you'll go up in your bedroom. Don't matter to Satan. If you are inviting him, he is there. Because he asked Allah, he said, Oh Allah, give me respite. Yeah, you throwing me out, but I'm going to show you that they don't deserve you. You give me respite to the day that. You call us resurrection. 
I will lead all of them astray except for the few that are obedient servants. And I'm going to prove to you that they're not going to be obedient to you. Because I'm going to assault them from their left and right in front of them and in back of them. And they're going to fall for the same slow left hook because they can't fight. They're not devil fighters. They have the appearance of a devil fighter. But we walk with devils. That has been then. That is now. We are all the sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. Thinking that we are so different because we look different. <laughs> Even our fingerprints on our hand is not the same, but they're on the same hand, and they all ball their fists at the same time, and they help each other because they know they belong to the same source. We don't know that, though. The diversity is Allah's greatness. They can not duplicate something. Even twins are not duplicated. They even have different fingerprints. So what is wrong with us? Thinking that we're so different. I'm so better than you. I'm more beautiful than you. A lot of not wreck anything ugly. You know what makes us ugly? Shaitan makes us ugly. Our behavior makes us ugly. Our deeds, what we do, what we say, what we think, makes us ugly. Because Shaitan is ugly. Shaitan is so ugly, a lot don't even like to show his face. His face is only, he's only shown up in us. And that ugliness in us is just a small part of his ugliness. <coughs> and we really look ugly. Wait till the next time you get mad, look in the mirror. Ugly. Horrible looking face. Veins start popping up in your neck, your forehead. Look at yourself the next time you get angry. So Allah Almighty is saying, if you're going to submit your will to me, I will submit my will to you. And that's why all the 121,000 prophets, Allah Almighty has told them, said to everyone, if you love me, love them. If you follow me, you want me, follow them. Because they were representing Allah Almighty. They were Allah Almighty's reflection on earth. When people bow down to them, they weren't bowing down to a human flesh. They were bowing down to Allah Almighty. They had submitted their will totally to their Lord. The people were not punished when they, and their people were not punished until when Moses and when Jesus and when Muhammad came and Allah Almighty said to follow them and be obedient to them. When you didn't follow them and be obedient to them, you were disobedient to me. Allah says that. That's the same reality. Shaitan didn't bow down to Adam. The same thing. We keep living it over and over again. There's only two paths, one of obedience and one of disobedience. Either we are submitting our will to Allah Almighty or we are not. You want to live a difficult, confused life, uncertain life. Just be obedient to what Allah Almighty sends us to be obedient to. And you'll find the curse of Cain coming on us. And we're the descendants of Cain who was possessed by Shaitan. And he has his descendants everywhere. Abel also has his descendants everywhere. But Shaitan said that in the latter days he would have more followers than the most powerful prophet. Peace be upon you. So look now at the world, at the current events. People are not remembering their Lord. They are now they are enslaved to dunya, the lowest life. 